our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, John Madam And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Well, whether you're a boxer or a mixed martial artist, you want to compete at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. In 2016, a lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. I got that honor. And I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG, I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity, the greatest heavyweight fighters to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. All right, early round action here, and John Will Lee not wasting any time finding a home for that record. A beautiful right hand. You know, we saw this in the Jessica Andrade fight, her title-winning performance, where she overwhelmed her with that shot that put her out. John Lee is a tremendous athlete, and when she explodes into this punch, she is as good as they come. How good a job does she do defensively to protect that head, raise the guard, a lot of good things in there. Yep, hands up, chin down. She's got a perfect position for defensive boxing. Oh, left hook. Under three minutes to go in round one. There by Sean Whaley. A commitment to excellence. She finally gets this fight to the ground after many failed attempts. A strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon. So she can evade her opponent for finishing her. Full guard right in the half guard. One minute to go in round one. Let's work, I'll stand this up. You need to work. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. She is so dominant from the top position. There's the horn signifying the end of the round, and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show, and she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish. But if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? Ready to fight. Ready. Round two is underway. Nice kick there, Bryce. Oh, right hand lands again for Zhang Weili. Zhang Weili starting to feel it now, man. She's starting to get off of that right hand. She's throwing it more. She's got a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down. To get another one off the piece of play. 
Shout on to that. That does not look good. You see the wealth. You see the obvious signs of bruising. Don't want to take too many more of those. Oh, nice technique on the sidekick. You don't learn that overnight. with that jab. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issues. Man, that thigh is starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smirking about it, right? But yeah. that, oh! Huge shot going on right here. past the midpoint here of the fight. She's got the head trap now. Guillotine choke coming. That guillotine is tight. It looks like she's going to finish this fight by guillotine. She's got her down. Now she's got to lock her guard and start to feed the hips as she pulls her way back to get her to submit. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Striking from every position lands a strike from the box. Shao Nan's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. There you go, again, half guard. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Just unable to quite find that range. They're probably her best strike of the fight. Her best high. strike. If you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effective. All right, so we do get to the horn. So somewhat surprisingly, this fight is not over, given that she rocked and stunned her opponent multiple times there in the previous round. She is so good at finding the shots that really does hurt you. It's not the ones that stand out to you. It's those sneaky little attacks right. that she is so good at landing that can really, really hurt you, as we saw in the previous round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you Great watch fight. her, and she looks like Great. an Olympian. Good. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice punch to the head. Another strike to the head lands. Well, she keeps prioritizing that calf kick, and now her opponent's calf start to show signs of bruising. She just took them. She had to check them before they started to accumulate. She started to really struggle with that calf now. Control here. With two minutes and change to go in round three. 
She's got her back now. She's going for the sub here. Oh, arms in tight. Oh, she continues to pursue the submission here. We're in the fight now, boys. She's trying to finish the armbar. She's got to be patient, though. If she rushes, she will lose this position. Oh, she's out, and I don't mean unconscious. How did she escape? Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, well, through no lack of effort, she still hasn't been able to get the submission. you got to credit the defense at some point. Absolutely. This young lady is so present defensively when she's under attack. She never panics. She's so calm under pressure. She seems to be a person that can't be submitted. This is a terrible position. Don Shalons right back to the full mount. 20 seconds to go in the fight. kick right there landed perfect the official decision is now in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after three rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score this contest 30-27 Played the winner by unanimous decision, Yon Well, you gotta figure her challenges are only gonna get stiffer from here, but she passed this test tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And she needed this, right? This goes to the maturity of her career. The fact that she is growing and growing and growing and can win a tough fight over an extended period of time.